happy Sunday! I am the supplier, and this is my Sunday book stack for the week of February 3rd, 2013. So, I decided I'm not going to do reading wrap up videos anymore, mostly because I do these Sunday book stack videos pretty close to every week. Um, Y'all know what I read. I was thinking, oh yeah, I could do just the wrap up in TBR like everybody else does, except it would make for a very long video. Uh, because I teach reading and because I feel that it's important for my students to see me reading, I should really do a video on why I feel that way. Anyway, I actually do a lot of my reading at school. I have a lot of time to do that reading at school. I like my job. Have I mentioned that? So three things from last week. First, Melinda Lowe revealed the title and the cover for the sequel to Adaptation. The book is going to be called Inheritance, and the cover is kind of neat looking. Um, due to copyright issues, I didn't put the cover here, but there is a link to Melinda's blog in the description if you're curious. I pre-ordered The Madness underneath yesterday, and it's awesome. It's by Maureen Johnson. It's going to be out soon. It's the sequel to um, The Name of the Star. I'm uber excited. I linked to some special information about pre-ordering from specific places in the description. Um, I told one of my students about the madness underneath and she was like, can I be the first to read it after you? And uh, that made my day. Three, one of my other students who is currently reading The Fault in Our Stars came to class on Thursday and said, Miss, my cousin ruined the end for me. Can I get a new book? And after a bit of conversation, I found out that her cousin, who was one of my former students, said that Hazel and Augustus get married at the end. And I chuckled a little bit because um, it was a little too clueless for me, and I told her to keep reading. I'm glad now that, well, I mean, I was before, but I, I'm like even more glad that I went and did the tour of Indianapolis through the places in the Fault in Our Stars, as I have two students reading it, and I've been able to show them the places, and they'd like to, you know, laugh at me, make fun of me for it, whatever. I linked to that playlist in the description as well. And now onto the stack. Mark of Athena is making a repeat appearance in the stack this week. I started reading it after I read a book that was not in my stack for last week. Um, I am enjoying it. I'm about seven or eight chapters in. Um, I'm really interested to see where this goes. It's February now, which means it is time to revisit my book gap challenge requirements that I put on myself. And this week I'm going to read Makes Me Want to Holler by Nathan McCall, which is a book my brother wanted me to read a while ago and I didn't. And it's a memoir and it fits into my not YA adult challenge category. And last week I talked about the tragedy paper and I decided to go ahead and bite the bullet and use one of my Audible credits to download the audiobook. I'm about halfway through and a part of me is intrigued and then a part of me is, you know, disappointed. I decided that I'm going to do a video on just the tragedy paper when I finish it, so I'll talk about that then. Last week I asked about your lending policies, and it seemed to me like Pam, 1993 Book Freak, Book Hobbit, and I are all pretty much all on the same page. Um, we prefer to read it first. Pam, and to the point where she said that lending them out before reading is ridiculous. Thanks, Pam, for that. Um, Reliability is important to a book hobbit, particularly if the book hasn't been read first. And I think that I'm myself in a unique situation. I prefer to read them first because I like new books and many of my students don't know or don't care about how to treat books. Um, and sometimes I break this rule, particularly if I have a long list of books that I'm going to read before I get to one that my student wants. And because I want them to read, I'll give it to them before I've read it. But when I get a new book back and the spine is broken, it makes me a little sad. I'm thinking about doing the Breaking the Spines tag from Reading with Jack here soon, so I will talk more about spines and this particular question then. So this week's question, just because I'm curious, uh, well I guess that's why I ask all of my questions. What books have you read because there was so much hype surrounding them, and then they left you feeling disappointed as a reader? Not to say that the book wasn't entertaining in its own right, or, you know, left you curious about what came next in a series, it just wasn't what you thought it would be. 
Leave your thoughts about this question, uh, feature shelf requests, and whatever in the comments of wherever you happen to be watching this video. So that's it for me today. Um, I promise to have an illusion video up this week and next week since it's been a little while since I've done one. Um, I don't know what the feature shelf is going to be yet this week, but it'll be up either Thursday or Friday as well. Until then, I am the supplier wishing you happy reading. Don't forget to be awesome.